Day three of Slitterbond is coming to a close. Kelly just woke up from a very, very long nap. I caught up on some YouTube. And now we're about to go to dinner. We're going to a place called BJ's, which I heard has a lot of gluten-free options. So we're about to go check that out. All right, guys, so we just got back from dinner. I ended up getting a quinoa bowl with grilled chicken, which had uh, quinoa, spinach, tomatoes, onions, mushrooms, and then the grilled chicken on top. And it wasn't something that I normally would have ordered, uh, but it was on the allergy menu and I thought that I would give it a try and it was actually ended up being really, really good. So I'm glad I went with that, glad I gave it a shot. Um, but yeah, day three is coming to a close. Uh, we had a really good time. It was, it was a lot of fun. Um, got a lot of sun. I don't know if you guys can kind of tell, but I definitely got, uh, got a lot of sun. My, my legs are a little sunburnt uh, from today, but really, like, like I mentioned before, there's not a whole lot of rides here, but uh, the lazy rivers were a lot of fun. They had some that were like really, really slow, and you just kind of hung out and chilled. They had some that were a little bit faster currents, and so you had like dips and stuff like that, which was, uh, which was fun. And then um, they had like this one slide that you went down and, uh, and then like had like a big splash at the end and stuff like that. So it, all in all, it was a lot of fun. It was really relaxing. Uh, we check out tomorrow. We go to our next stop. Um, but yeah, I, I, I definitely enjoyed it. I will say probably one of the, probably one of the most challenging but yet most rewarding lessons that I have had to learn on this trip so far. Like eating in Austin is never a problem for me. Um, I can always find something that's dairy or gluten free, but being here, that has been a challenge. Um, I will say that this place is definitely not ready uh, for people with food allergies. Um, they didn't, you know, like something as simple as being lactose intolerant, like most places have at least like soy or almond milk as an alternative, they did not have that. So we ended up having to go and, and buying soy milk, so we had it. Um, and just you know having to think outside the box really and as far as like finding things for me to eat and food and what am i going to eat and all of this stuff is it's, it's been a little bit of a challenge but honestly like we've made it work and it's been a huge lesson for me and it's kind of honestly like made me think a little bit differently about food you know when you think about eating you think about like okay you eat breakfast and then you eat lunch and then dinner and maybe some snacks and when you eat your food you normally have like a protein in your veggies or you know your protein in your sides or whatever it is and honestly like I've had to kind of improvise with my food and you know it may not be that I have you know a protein in two sides it may be I have a protein in one side or I eat something you know at this time and then I eat a little bit here. So everything's been kind of, it's been kind of different to be perfectly honest. Like, um, and just the way that I've like had to think about food and, and how I feel and order things that I normally wouldn't order and all of that. Um, and just having this allergy is really just kind of, I don't know, I feel like I've, I've changing the way that I've, I'm eating and, and changing the way that I think about food. It's really kind of hard to explain um, how just different it's been, you know, and, um, it's been good. It's, I'm glad that I'm like learning these lessons and, and changing the way that I think about food because it's been, and I'll make a whole nother video about like me being dairy and gluten free, but it's been kind of a hard mental adjustment to be perfectly honest. Um, but we've made it work. We, the people, the staff have been, um, really nice in helping in as far as like my food is concerned. And, um, and they've done what they've can, so done what they have been able to. Um, so I'm rambling all in all, it's been a good trip. Uh, tomorrow is a new day, a new city or town or whatever you want to call it. Um, so I will see you guys tomorrow for our next part of our adventure. So I seriously think we're the only ones staying in the hotel tonight. Our car was like the only one in the parking lot. It's kind of weird.